Now let's talk about shorthand operators. Now once we know we have arithmetic operators which is plus, minus, then we have uh, multiplication and division. Let's try to use shorthand operators. Now what is shorthand operator? So let's say we have three variables. One is i, j and k. And let's say you have, uh, you want to say i equal to i plus 3. So you want to add i itself by 3. So initial value of i is 9. So when you say 9 plus 3, the new value for i it will be 12, right? Let's print this. So let's say print f and we'll say person d to print and we'll just print the value of i. So no need to print any statement. I just, I'm just printing the value of i. And now if I run this, you can see it says, I want to use slash and also. I'm just ignore it with this. So let me run this and you can see the output is 12, right? Yeah, so answer is 12 here. Uh, let me just use the complete space here. So answer is 12. Now, uh, instead, of, instead of specifying i once again, we can use a shorthand. So what is shorthand? I will just comment this part. Shorthand we can write, we need to add i by itself by 3. Okay, so we need to add i by itself with 3. So instead of saying i equal to i plus 3, we can simply specify i plus, how much plus? You have to say 3. Right? And if you run this code, you'll be in the same output, which is 12. Simple. Now let's say I want to do uh, for multiplication. We can do the same thing. We can say instead of saying i equal to i into 3 or any value, y and y, 3 always, let's say 4. So, so if I print the value of i now, let me, if we don't want to execute any statement, we can just use comments. So we can define comments using double slash or we can also use slash hash trick. Uh, so let me define, try, uh, we'll do it later. So we, we can say i equal to i into 4 and then if I print the value of i now, you can see the output is 36, right? Because it's 9 into 4, 36. So we can define a shorthand for this. So how to use shorthand? So you have to say i and you guessed it right, it is star equal to Four. So we need to multiply i by itself but with 4. Run and that's the same output. Clear? And yeah, that's 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 how you, you have to use shorthands. So in the next video, we'll talk about post and pre-increment. So that's it. Thanks for watching.